Good morning. Thank you. by shearing the sheep in spring oh. it is uh, then we wash the wool we cut it we spin it by hand or by machine mm -hmm. then we dye it using natural dyes or synthetic dyes after that we set up the loom and on the loom uh, here this is the skeleton this one is silk pure silk yeah. that one there is wool wool skeleton oh, okay. and this one here is cotton also oh, wool, cotton, and silk, and, and lately we use bamboo as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a dying art; it goes away. Mm -hmm. To keep this art alive, we work with Minister of Culture and Education. We set up a course in different times of the year, working with them together, uh, and we train girls, anyone about 18 who wants to learn this craft. Mm -hmm. Then after their training is done. We give them the loom and the material. They weave the carpet at their homes. Their homes, yeah, okay. Mm. Kind of emancipation mm, yeah. for them. Time. Additional income. And then once they finish the work, they weave. We buy it from them. That's how we run this mm. system. Uh, I will explain how she does the nutting technique. You see, this is the skeleton part here. Yeah. So, yeah. She has a graph paper. She follows this to tie the knots into the vertical lines. I will ask her to do it slowly. Yes, she will be a Well, yes. You see, she wraps the yarn around the. Slowly, running in the how there. First and second, forming the double knot. Oh, yeah. She goes back to her own speed right away. See, <laughs> I cannot see that. Yeah. Once she complete the entire row, then she uh, will tighten them down by beating it. Oh yeah. With an iron, looks like a comb called kirkit. We kirkit the edge. Do it, Mrs. Zamet. You see, Mrs. Then she will trim the excess pile to see the pattern underneath. Oh yeah, okay. Very good. Oh. She'll continue this till she finishes the rug in, entirely. Then we will cut the warp thread. That's how we get the fringes and tassels on it. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you're looking at very small piece and six or seven months of labor. Oh, that really? rug hanging on the wall, we're looking at two months of labor. Oh my god. You see, you can never compare one rug with another one based on its size or the price. Based on the design and the mm -hmm. time? Labor, material, dye stuff, mm -hmm. rarity goes into place to evaluate the yeah. price. Any questions so far? Yeah, yeah, I understood that. It's really okay, have you got any really carpet in your home? We have, but not uh, this much uh, expensive ones. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this expensive, I think. 
I see. Mm. Well, you didn't, you didn't ask the price. How, can how much you, it was? Yeah. How can you tell it's expensive? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the price differs. Like that carpet there is about like $900. Oh, yeah. Big one. This one is going to be around seven, eight thousand dollars That silk carpet will be about like $2,500. Mm. Mm, that's not a Detailing or not? Any question? No? The, the price is different. That is cotton, right? So, what do we use? The wool or is it the same? Uh, wool or cotton. The skeleton is cotton. Only the skeleton is cotton. The skeleton is cotton. The skeleton is cotton. But the tile is wool. And the reason we use cotton in the base is to squeeze more number of knots per square centimeter. Oh, okay. Because cutting is much thinner. Okay. Wool, uh, wool on wool carpets will have, let's say, that has got 50 knots to a centimeter square. Mm -hmm. This will have about like 18 to 20 knots per centimeter square. Okay. This one has 144 mm -hmm. to a centimeter yeah. square. But this is wool. So that means that is easy work. Well, actually, not exactly. Okay. If there's so much, look at that piece hanging on the wall. So many, so many designs. Yes. The design makes it difficult. Like if it's so complex, okay. you have to change colors mm. constantly. Yes, okay. It is difficult. Oh, okay. All right. Have you ever seen how silk is made yeah, out of cocoon? Yeah. Have you? You have seen. Let's walk around a little bit. Now, I will invite you to our showroom to show you some finished pieces. Okay. These are the wool. Look at the color change here, variations. You see, in one skein, you see different colors. Mm -hmm. You know the reason why? Well, when we dye the wool, with a, in a, with a skein like this, outside part of the skein absorbs the dye more mm. than the inside parts of the skein. Yes. And that's why when naturally dye, you will see variations, variations in color. Yeah. Yeah. And look at this piece. Mm. A masterpiece again. With the, the signature of the person who made this oh, carpet. Really? But how much it cost? Well, this one you're looking at about ten thousand dollars. <laughs> this one here, this is headache. You can see the name written on the left down corner uh, in Guinness Book of Records due to having the finest mallet carpet of the world. Okay. Yeah, beautiful piece. Like that one, for instance, will be about nine thousand mm. dollars. That one. Four thousand five hundred. Mm. See, that's bigger. Yeah. Maybe you fall in love with one here. Never know. <laughs> Let's go inside here. Costra.
മുകളിലേക്ക് പോകോ ചേച്ചി മുകളിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നില്ല വീട്ടിൽ സം സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ഷോപ്പിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫുൾ ഓഫ് സുവനിയസ് ഗിഫ്റ്റ്സ് ഫോർ റിക്ക ആൻഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് തിങ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് 